Hi, Gemini. Um, first, let me say, hold on a second. My throat is really dry. First, let me say that if you guys are waiting for a personal reading, I am getting caught up on the readings. Um, so if you haven't heard from me through an email or something like that, I will be getting your reading out as quickly as possible after being sick for four or five days. It's like now I'm getting caught up and then I got some emergency readings in. Anyways, you don't want to hear about that. You're like, tell us about our reading. Um, I really wanted to do your reading yesterday and then I realized that it was not the right moment for me to do it. Um, today is very interesting because, um, today might be a day for you to kind of just like sit back. Usually I'm feeling the April energy for Gemini is, um, kind of harsh for me and I think the reason is because I, because first I'm a Virgo and right now it's Mercury retrograde and our, one of our ruling planets, we co-rule, I guess, Mercury. Um, we talk about that like every single time, but I am surrounded by Geminis in my life and depending on what other placements you have in your chart, Geminis are usually really like have a very calm, cool, collected, like very open and free, kind of loving, just fun loving energy to them. And it's been, you know, like it happens, it's off and on, up and down. It's been going back and forth with you guys the last couple of months. But for the most part, you guys have not really felt very fun loving and free and open and like, you know, and I feel like you almost run away from stuff right now or you have been feeling like you want to run away from stuff because you, I almost feel like you guys feel trapped within confines, four walls. You don't want to be, right? You can't do that. Four of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Page of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. So we have a we have a demotion and then a big jump after asking for some money or asking for a raise or asking for a promotion. It's like you feel like you're holding on to stuff really, really tightly. It's like, here's this box. I'm going to hang on to it. You realize you're holding on to it way too fast. You slip and miss something. You got to pull yourself back up by your bootstraps. Maybe ask for some help. This is where this page of cups come in. Ask for, you ask for some help. And it could be in the financial department. It could just be in your 3D world. Often when I see pentacles like this, it's in the 3D world. And so you ask for help, and you get some help. If you look at this girl here, she does have somebody helping her behind the scenes. Even though it still feels like you've lost out on something because you were holding on to it way too tightly, or your manifestation manifestation slipped or it was like not time for the universe to give it to you things do improve in the middle of april but not all the way up to your liking i still feel like you have a few things you need to learn if this has to do with a relationship you are being very practical about it. The pentacles to me is it's very earthy. You're being very practical about it. And I almost want to say that the practicality of it is you let go of it a little bit. 
and you kind of pull yourself up by your own bootstraps with the page of cups here. Or there's a water sign that gets you drunk. <laughs> there's a water sign that gets you drunk. And you feel a little bit better about the situation, but you're still feeling kind of put out with the Five of Pentacles. We can look at it that way in relationship-wise. But with the chariot, it's now saying, like, now we're talking about, like, you got to get out of the Five of Pentacles, woe is me, bullshit. Because Geminis don't do that. You guys don't, first of all, you don't beg for affection, for attention, you, you cut it out. Like, if it's not coming to you, you'll ask for a little bit of help, but you won't beg for it. And I feel like you're at that point where it's like, no, I'm, you know, if this is a cancer water sign that you have kind of like been asking for affection from and they're not giving you what you need doesn't have to be a water sign, but you're moving on really quickly. And I want you to know that the universe is pushing you forward pretty quickly. If you look at the chariot, look at the magic behind that chariot. I was going to talk about planets and what they're doing right now, but we can talk a little bit more about that in the second half of April. Because what I want you to know mostly right now is things could be really slow in the communication department, could just be really slow in life in general just because it is Mercury retrograde. It's airy season. So I actually like Mercury in retrograde during airy season. I'd rather have it in airy season than, oh, say, I don't know, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, like during a watery season. Because at least there's still action happening. At least we still feel like there's movement forward. Even if things, I don't know, it might be easier to get into fights. But not if you don't, like, watch what you're saying. Because with retrogrades, it really is like, you know, like, look before you leap. I still feel like you can get things done right now in the first half of April. But I don't want you to diminish yourself for the sake of movement forward. You know, it's almost like, well, I guess if I take the hit, there you go. I'm like, why are you guys not saying anything? I'm not saying the right thing to you. I guess if I take the hit, <sighs> all right. I think the reason why I'm not feeling it with you guys right now, and I am feeling it, but I'm not feeling it. I feel like you guys are really kind of shoving it in my face that it's like my other twin is taking over right now, and they don't really want to talk. Like, I don't know if you've watched South Park, the line, screw you guys, I'm going home, comes to mind. That's, you know... Four of Cups is really, you're like, I tried, I asked for help, I started moving forward, now I'm going to retreat. Okay? It just doesn't seem like you to do that. And maybe you need to take this time to kind of pull in and reevaluate what's happening. Um, I'm... Not surprised that it's in a, an emotional way, because I feel like you guys um, are feeling the emotions, but normally you don't sit within them. Usually you will recognize what's going on and you'll move through it. Two of Pentacles. Deciding what your next big move is. Maybe that's why you've retreated. Because often when the Two of Pentacles comes along, this is like calculating. Like, I've got a decision to make. You know, I've got a decision to make on how I'm going to manage my money, how I'm going to manage my life, how I'm going to manage my assets, how I'm going to manage my time. 
right? I don't want somebody else to get in the way of that. <laughs> Clearly. Three of Cups. Ten of Cups. Three of Swords. Queen of Wands. There is a fire sign in your life. Doesn't have to be a fire sign. Could be somebody who is just very determined to let you know. It's like that back and forth, back and forth. They want to let you know, I'm still here. I know you were trying to move on. You were trying to move forward. You retreated within your own business. You pulled back. Maybe you went out and decided you were going to have some fun. Three of Cups. I'm going to make my own happiness. I'm going to get it taken care of. And then the Three of Swords comes along. And this fire sign breaks you all over again. How many times does it have to happen? And again, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. I feel like this fire sign possibly has another person involved. We have three, three, three. There's really no denying it. Or... You have a water sign and a fire sign in your life, and you want to have a more traditional existence. We have the Hierophant, Strength, this could be a Leo, or a Taurus with all of this Earth energy, the Fool or an Aries. And then the Eight of Wands. Five of Wands is at the bottom of the deck with the High Priestess and the World. All right. So if this fire sign in your life keeps on coming back in, even though they have somebody else, if they keep coming back into your life, it's like, I got over it, I moved on, I'm happy now, bam, fire sign shows back up right on cue. They say, let's, let's go the more traditional route, right? They communicate to that, that to you. No, they're going to keep that other person. I'm sorry to tell you that. They're not moving forward. I don't care if they're a soulmate. I don't care if they're a twin flame. I don't care if they are the person that you feel you need to worship. But Geminis don't worship anybody, so don't do that. Whoever this fire sign is in your life, they're not going to give you the tradition that you want. You want to have, you want to have that fun loving spirit again. You want to take on the energy of Mars right now. Like, let's have some fun. Let's, you know, travel. Eight of Wands. Let's move forward. Let's go and do and see and be. And have fun doing it. Like, there's no reason to sit around, right? Like, I feel like you've done enough contemplation. I feel like you've done enough juggling in your life. You know what you want that's going to make you happy. But there's a player in the midst. And by player, I don't mean the fun-loving Gemini twin that needs to come out. I mean the person that's going to bring chaos into your life, five of wands. And it's like, you don't need that right now. If you have a Taurus in your life, they are really bringing a lot of strength to you. And they are communicating about, like, let's have a new beginning. Let's make it a little bit more serious. I can make you happy. Insert fire sign who breaks your heart over and over again. And intuitively, you already know the high priestess and the world. Intuitively, you, intuitively, you already know what will start your new beginning. 
what it is that you need for that extra push forward. There's that Taurus or another earth sign that you can build off of, that you can build with. And I feel like this person actually, sh this person showed up in your life. They've already like been in your life or presented themselves in your life and said, hey, like, let's have a new beginning. Let's go a different direction. What are we waiting for? And if you pulled back from that thinking something else was going to make you happy, you are changing your tune. You're realizing that you need to switch gears. Seven of Pentacles and the Star and the Six of Cups. Planting your seeds, healing from all of that. Finding um, that balance, you know, the fun loving, getting back to like, we're going to be coming into your season after Taurus season. And when Uranus moves into Taurus in May, things will start moving quickly. And it's like you plant those seeds. And if you're not ready for the ride, if you're not ready to push forward and go for this ride, if you haven't dealt with the things in the past that are no longer serving you, if you haven't left that stuff behind, it's going to be like more chaos. It's going to be the five of wands chaos. And you don't want to do that because you have big plans. You have things you need to get done. It's like, you know, we can play. I mean, like Gemini's, you guys work hard and you play hard. And that's, that's how you guys operate. Right? So... If you've been in work mode and you're like ready to break out of that and ready to, to move forward and somebody keeps on jumping in your way and like breaking your heart over and over again, there's an earth sign in your life that is saying, no, it's time to move forward. And if you have ignored this and you haven't listened to your intuition or you haven't listened to what's been going on behind the scenes, um... I feel like this Mars energy is going to push forward in a way that will not only surprise you, but could actually be very healing for you. So make sure that you're like keeping your eyes open for this opportunity to move forward. Yeah. All right, Gemini. I hope you guys have a really good April. Um, if you would like to have um, a personal reading, check out the Instant Go app, or you can check out my website, fearlessintuition.net. All of my services are there on my website. Um, have a really great first half of April. I will see you for the second half. Bye.